Well, it's opening morning of archery elk season. We're running fashionably late as usual. <laughs> so we're hauling butt up the road here. We're not even to where we want to go yet. And just BSing about Brantley playing football and stuff like that. I come flying around the corner here and there's about 10 head of elk right in the road. Um, don't hardly ever see them down this low. Um, I have in the winter time, but yeah, there's about 10 head of cows. We didn't see any bulls, but. There was a couple, um, what are they called? Yearlings? Yeah. Calves, yearlings. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to hold butt up where uh, we want to go, and that's a good sign they're out moving still. Well, it's about 6.30 or so. Yeah, we're running about an hour late, hour and a half late. <laughs> but anyhow, got to see some elk opening day. Brantley had his bow out. You bet your ass we'll take a shot. But, no, we... Uh, just is what it is just gotta roll with the punches and you know i was talking to brantley a little bit ago and it's like man it seems like we're always late opening morning <laughs> heck i'm always up late getting gear ready and stuff like that and uh by the time i get gear ready and get to bed and then i don't want to get up it's like man oh well i always want to get up <laughs> yeah he's all this say Brantley it's time to go hunting man he's out of bed and getting ready and, but anyhow hmm. all right well we'll catch you guys later well we came in and checked our trail camera the one that I've been getting pictures of the big bull on the last time he was in here was the 19th which was 12 days ago um just started shedding his velvet He's not a, I mean, he's a world-class bull, don't get me wrong. I mean, he's got two cheaters off of each side. He's an 8x8 eight eight bull, but he's only got maybe a 350, 360 frame, but with his extras, he's 370, 380. Um, I think he's just a young bull coming up, but he is a stud, that's for sure. But I mean, I'm not going to lie, if he come within bow range i'd stick him but i kind of hope he uh makes it a couple more years see what he he'll turn into a 420 inch bull almost guarantee it it's a big bull but anyway we're gonna go try some more areas check another trail camera or two i guess we only got one out one out, one more out up here so anyway stay tuned yeah. I'm a little bit rusty this year. <laughs> well, not really, but with my calf calls, I am. Right there's where Brantley was sitting right at the base of that tree and I was standing right behind it. 2019 I shot a bull. It would come walking up right here about 25 yards stuck him in a chest. He ran down, ran about 100, 150 yards over there and died. There's a bull, cow and a calf, another cow. About, about 80 yards, fucking wind's blowing right to him.
over there. Put your arrow away and we'll get down there. We gotta get that wind right. There's two bowls down here.
see how they react and maybe a soft bugle. Six point standing right here where Brantley is. We stalked within 30 yards of him but couldn't get a shot. He trotted off that way. The big bulls right over there somewhere. you say? No, what'd you say before that? You're still shaking? Yeah. <laughs> I went to drill back on him, and I got that deer in my arms like this. Yeah, got shot out of grouse today. 
Shout out to Spike Bull. I was trying to get him to shoot right before that. He had a good shot. And there was one little branch, but the arc of his arrow would have went right over that branch. But oh well, live and learn. Maybe you'll listen to Dad. <laughs> Love you. How old are you? Uh, ten. Huh? Ten. Huh? Ten. Ten years old and bow hunting elk. Bow hunting elk. He's shooting about 46 pounds. Mm. Oh. Shooting sharp kudu points. Well, that one's not so sharp no more. <laughs> oh. Thought you only needed one arrow. I only need one. I just got to keep finding it after I miss. <laughs> Any hair? Yeah. Don't move it. Yeah. You always go and look for your arrow and make sure you didn't wound an animal. Besides, when you shoot at grouse and trees, and your arrows go a mile. <laughs> Last night we were coming out of the woods and it was just getting dark. We covered a lot of country and was looking, just trying to find a bugle. And we were driving out right at dark last night and there was a grouse about 10 yards in front of the truck. Well, Brantley was riding in the back of the truck. I told him, I said, shoot that grouse, son. Well, there was one in a tree off to his left. So he freaking pulls his bow back and shoots and I'm like, he didn't even shoot at it. I was like, which one did you shoot at? He goes, there's one in a tree over here. I said, you don't ever shoot at him in a tree. You'll lose arrows. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, after I shot at that one, I saw blood drop go into the road when he flew over. Yeah, it was probably poop. Yeah. <laughs> Just get the poop out of him. <laughs> that spike pulls just right down here. I can smell him. That's where that six point ran to. What kind of bull are you looking for? Giant. Giant. Spike. I don't know I shot. Yeah. That's what I told him. I said, any elk with a bow is a trophy, especially when you're only 10 years old. And uh, he was ready to take a cow the other evening. seventh today yeah but uh i'm gonna walk down here a little bit further on this road and let out a bugle see if we get anything to answer but quick evening hunt <clears throat> he didn't have practice today so 
We decided to come out and give it a whirl. Hopefully we can hear something anyhow. If you guys seen that or not, <coughs> this is a good little six point bull. Come to 35 yards, could have stuck him, but it's not what I'm looking for. There's a big bull, big bull down here, a couple hundred yards bugling. <coughs> so I come following these elk, these elk are down over by the road there. Forgot my bugle too. <laughs> anyway, I was just following bugles and was walking down this ridge and I heard something behind me and I heard horns hit brush. It's like, oh, you sneaky little bugger. He come in right behind me. I wasn't even calling. He was just following that herd, trying to find a cow. And so I let out a couple soft cow calls and here he come, 35 yards. I could have stuck him, but not big enough yet. <laughs> so anyway, I might get down here and see if I can't find them. Another elk. See what that other bull is.
spook in a minute. My rain's blowing right to him. 